Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like in Apex. We are in San Francisco Chinatown yet again. We were invited to a similar restaurant we featured before, Broadway Dim Sum. Uh, check out some of their unique Chinese food and some traditional Chinese food as well. Yeah, it kind of featured this entire whole Chinatown Broadway Dim Sum experience yet again. I'm excited to do that, excited to try the food. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. With that said, I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. <laughs> So I'm accompanied by Gong Gong, uh, by Shauna and Safi. <laughs> All right, yeah, Chinatown. One thing I like about Chinatown is that they have a number of shops here that you can purchase uh, groceries, vegetables, meats, produce, clothing. A lot of tourists like to come out to this area to check out some bargain item. Has some really cool stuff here. I'm just kind of walking right now. Like this is at Jackson Street. So surprisingly, a lot of shops right now are, are closed. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day, so I'm not sure if that that's a factor. It could be. It could be the time to. Oh, it's green light. What am I doing? Oh, next time we don't need a stroller. We have Gong Gong horsey ride. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're approaching Broadway, and this that's where the uh, restaurant is located. It's called Broadway Dim Sum, and it is on Broadway Street. If you've been to Chinatown before, this is a pretty popular street because a lot of traffic comes and extends from the Vanessa area on down to the Embarcadero and Broadway. We'll get a lot of uh, a lot of traffic coming through this way. Therefore, you get to you know pass certain places just like the Chinatown district. Okay, we're crossing the street. So we're here at Broadway Dim Sum. Yeah, they got menus on the window now. Broadway. Dim Sum Cafe right here on 684 Broadway and uh, a pleasure to come back again. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're here at the restaurant because we've been here a couple times already. It's always a pleasure to come back. Hello, good to see Very you. Very good to see you again. Honor Pinky. Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. Pinky. Very good to see you again. So we are headed to the back kitchen. Hello. 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 <laughs> this is the, the main chef, huh? Hi. The main chef? Yeah, the chef. Okay, the chef. The chef is preparing some type of like stir fry variation, some chicken. And it smells very good. And it looks wonderful. And I love the sound. I love the, the sizzling and the sauces. And he's doing such a good job at that. So again, an exclusive look into the preparation of the, the Chinese food here. And you can see here there, oh, he like uncovered some type of clay pot. Oh, wow. Alrighty here. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, watch my step. Kind of look at how he like kind of stir fry those different sauces into that chicken stir fry. And he placed that chicken into a clay pot. Uh, oh, and with, with some sausages as well into the clay pot. The chicken, the rice, the clay pot, that sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I got a grass jelly here. And I always, I've come here a couple, a few times already, and I always get the grass jelly. I like the grass jelly right here. Sometimes they put milk in it, but I don't, I don't need that. This is perfectly okay. They have little pieces of jelly for texture. Mm. That's sweet and delicious. He's asleep. He's sleeping, and he has his wallet too, ready to pay for his food. He's asleep. Let him, let him sleep. Take a look at that. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a clay pot. Wow. Got the chicken, the Chinese sausage. I see some onions in there, and that rice, the clay pot rice that's cooked in the clay pot. That looks big and wonderful, tremendous, very meaty dish. There's gonna be a sauce that's gonna be poured onto the clay pot. Looks like a ginger, green onions, and a soy sauce base. The sauce. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. And oh, you see garlic on there too. I've had clay pot many times, and I, I love it. So we have the the clay pot rice. Uh, it's called lat mei, and lat mei is a clay pot with, like I said before, the Chinese uh, sausages, the chicken, 
and then that sauce that uh, he had applied earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead here and get started here as it's nice and piping hot. I'm gonna get a scoop of that. I'm gonna take a nice bite of this. Give it a blow. Oh, hot. Mmm. Okay, there it is. The thing that sticks about that clay pot rice is that uh, the rice in general. It's nice and sticky and crispy because it's cooked on that, that edge of that clay pot coupled with that, that flavor, kind of sweet and um, savory flavor. Oh yeah, it's so good. And then that I had that Chinese sausage. That Chinese sausage is a sweet sausage. I love that wonderful texture of the sausages. That, that clay pot rice, man, with that sauce. Oh, that's unbelievable. This is a definitely a hearty meal. If you ever come and get some of this at the Broadway Dim Sum, this will definitely fill you up. That's that pork. That's that some, some of that bacon. Looks like a, some bacon, but it's... Um, yeah, it's that pork fat. I'm gonna get some of the uh, chicken as well. Got some chicken and some of the sausage. Take another bite of that. Hi, how are you? How many? What's here? Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I just had some fatty pieces in that bite there. Absolutely fantastic. I love that texture of the fat. I do. I really like it. <laughs> it's incredible how that sauce really plays a big, big role in the in the clay pot. Yeah, you gotta have it with that sauce. You gotta have it with all those components in here. You need to try it. If you never had clay pot rice before, there's a variety, there's many different options of clay pot rice. Some you could get with more vegetables, some meat, some seafood. This one in particular is a kind of a meaty one. I'm gonna get to work here and finish this off here. All right, they have a um, chili sauce here. Yeah, homemade chili sauce. And this is more um, crushed chilies, grounded chilies with some of that, uh, might be like some shrimp maybe. In the TV. Oh. Uh, well, hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. What is your name? Cindy. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. She saw some of my videos. <laughs> so, like that. All right. And I got that chili on it, too. So, here we go. Cheers. Oh. 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 Mm. Thank you. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and get some of that. It's a uh, bitter melon with spare ribs and some black bean sauce. Just going to put that on my plate here. All right. One of these things about bitter melon. If you've ever had it, it's pretty bitter. Especially if you have a raw, really bitter. The, hence the name, bitter melon. Uh, you have that uh, spare ribs with a black bean sauce, which I think it kind of balances out the entire dish, uh, making it um, still bitter, but you get, you get that uh, savory flavors from, from this dish here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have this as is. Take a bite of this bitter melon right now. Oh yeah, like I said, you get that bitter melon, that bitter taste or flavor, but then with that sauce, it really gives it, uh, balances out, neutralizes that bitterness for the most part. Oh yeah, and they're continuing to bring dishes out here, but I want to try some of that, the uh, spare rib right now. Again, it's, it's drenched with that black bean sauce. Oh, oh. That's good. That spare rib is nice and tender. It's nice and juicy, very savory. You gotta love it. I love it. Yeah. So we're walking to the back again here. I think they're cooking okay, something okay. else. Thank you. Chef is making a type of noodle dish. It might be Hong Kong style noodle. Ooh, we gotta flip that. You can just feel that heat radiating from the, the, the flames, like a jet fueled engine, and then these, yeah, yeah, it's just it's just nice and hot in the kitchen. I love it. So he's tossing all kinds of ingredients into this dish. I think it's gonna go with the with the noodles. You got vegetables, you got sauce, you got shrimp, bean sprouts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do this fish that they had cut. It's like a sole, like a sole fish, fried perfectly, crispy, and I got a piece of that fish here. Just a little tiny little piece here, but you know, I know it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna give this a bite here, just as is. Oh yeah, that's so good. Yeah, that right there has like the white fish tenderness that's nice and soft and very tasty too. I, I like soul fish. Soul fish is uh, one of those things here. You want to have it crispy like that, fried that way. I got some of this uh, skin here now and it's, and you can eat these fins here because they've been fried, like I said, perfectly. Probably put some garlic on there, some garnishes for a little bit more flavor. Here we go. I'm gonna chase it with some clay pot too. Oh, I love that fish. Get some rice with that. Mm. 
Also, they have this soup here. I think it's a house soup again. Chunks of cord in here. I'm gonna try that broth just by itself. Oh, wow. That's a really light tasting soup. There's not much salt, almost zero, probably not. You could add salt if you want to. It's a really light, soothing soup. Yeah, you got that meaty flavor to it. That natural meat flavors from the, I believe that might be like beef or pork. And then you have the natural flavors from the vegetables. Just making a nice aromatic soup. Yeah, let me try that pork or beef. Mmm, that's really tender. With some corn with it too. The cob of the corn. Oh, yeah. Got some more fish and put it in my clay pot. I got some pretty gnarly bones in here too. Huh. Ooh. Mm. Some bones you can't eat, so make sure you get it out. Those are the fins of the fish with that clay pot. Oh, so good. Now, spare rib. Piece of bone from the spare rib. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this head right here of the fish. And we'll see how edible that fish head is. So like I said, they fried it so good that most of it is so edible. This is the head of the, of the, of the soul fish. So let's give it a kiss. Mmm. 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 So crunchy. So we got some presents from the uh, from the owner because it was happy birthday. So here we have a another dish here. Looks like a, a fish with uh, so a Chinese cauliflower. I don't think I've ever had Chinese cauliflower before. Put this on my plate here. I'll get a piece of the fish. Got that fish, and then I'm gonna get some of the the Chinese cauliflower. Just like that. Try that cauliflower first. Chinese cauliflower. First time I've had it. Oh, you get that cauliflower component because it is cauliflower, but then more thin, more uh, not as hearty as the actual cauliflower itself. Almost like a broccoli and cauliflower combined. Yeah, I like it. And that sauce on it too, like a garlic sauce with it too. I'm gonna try this fish now. It's like a white fish. Here's the fish fillet. Try that fish now. Mm, that's very tender, very soft, very delicate, very delicious. Oh yeah. Savvy got her own box of a drumstick ice cream. The owner and brought her some. Man, yeah, this is it. definitely your birthday month, little girl. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, put the table. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we have a dessert here. Like a mochi type coconut uh, sticky ball and one with uh, jelly. Yeah. So there's. Okay, so we have a trio of desserts here. Go, go, go for it. So I'm gonna ask you one from here. Oh wow! Oh my goodness. More sticky and um, gelatin than creamy, but very bouncy. Yeah. How do you like it, Sophie? Wow. Yeah, don't kind of similar to that. I don't know what it's called, but they give it out at Chinese New Year every year. So what that is? It's a um, it's an almond jello. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one has like a coconut. Oops, it's falling <laughs> So coconut and peanuts on this one here. Ooh, so much texture in there. Coconutty, nutty, sticky, bouncy. This is a red bean. Yeah. Cheers. That's good too. I give a come here. Very delicious again. <laughs> Very beautiful, the Broadway Dim Sum Cafe here in Chinatown. Thank you, Pinky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so nice here. Yeah. Very, very hospitable. Happy to be here this evening enjoying this meal here. Thank you again, Pinky, for the invitation. Well, kind of the uh, an area of um, trying out different dishes here. I think that's kind of the theme of coming back here is, hey, look, I have something else for you to try. And so uh, come out this way and, and try it out. So, uh, hey. <laughs> She's been helping us out a lot with uh, with the food. But yeah, if you're ever in San Francisco, California, and you're checking out the Chinatown District, stop by Broadway Dim Sum Cafe. Thank you again, Pinky. With that said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out. Late. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later.